You're on Radio Bam, Sirius XM 41 Faction. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm here with Chad I. Ginsburg of CKY and Chris Narocco, who I haven't seen since the X Games. Or the last time I was here, five years ago, I think. Wait, didn't you see him in... When was the last time you saw him? In Hawaii or something? Well, I was at Chris's wedding, which was great, because he had really great seafood, like cold seafood like what was it lobsters and shrimps at the wedding i don't know i was pretty loaded yeah he had a good wedding his good wedding in new jersey and did then, you say you were on mushrooms no wedding? then that <laughs> reminds me of the time in hawaii i think cky was recording our second album in hawaii and chris you happened to be there and we were hanging out with girls and taking mushrooms were you were you taking mushrooms that day because i know chances I was. are was yeah. it a fun time, or oh, did you go great bo- time, or did you go bonkers? Any time I've ever taken mushrooms in Hawaii has been a great time. Choppy Omega was with us, chopping, chopping it up. <laughs> yeah, how's he been? He's Choppy Omega. He'll <laughs> always be okay. <laughs> he is awesome. Yeah, that was a good time. I think that was my first, only, and last uh, concert performance. I think I did the Cars. And with CKY? Yeah, these guys were the backup band, and I think I did death metal version of the Cars. In Honolulu or Maui? I think it was in Maui. Yeah. And we got run out of the skate park. We were doing a demo, and uh, yeah, I think the guy who set up the demo got fired as a result. Like, it tanked. Wasn't that in, Clint? In every way. No, that was a different adventure with Clint. <laughs> I've had some adventures with Clint. That's always an adventure. Clint, yeah, Clint is awesome over there. and. So, so so the whole demo got completely fucked up? They, it was Natural Concepts team, so you know it's going to be good right off the bat. <laughs> you know, there's just hijinks and paintings and people jumping out of buildings into yeah. transition. So the skateboarding was off the hook. But uh, I don't, I'm not really sure what we did wrong. I'm not sure what we did right. But we, they got CKY to play, and I think that was probably like the beginning of their problems. Because... <laughs> Then I was there, and we were just shitbagging it up. You're listening to Radio Bam. It's Radio Bam. Action. Dude, most people who rig up demos honestly don't know what they're doing. Like, any most times I do an autograph signing at a mall or something, there'll be a security guard spending way too much time telling somebody that they can't shoot a photo because it's taken too long. It's like you telling them that it's taken too long. It would have been taken yeah, by now and everybody would have been happy. Like Or the people putting it on, it's like, you know, I don't want pizza and soda, man. Where's yeah. the Coke and where's the girls? You know, like <laughs> if you're a good host, you know, be a good host. And I don't know why, but everybody that waits in line, they don't know how to work their camera fucking phone. They'll always be like First of all, have it ready. Second of all, can I take a photo? Yes, you can take a That's photo. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. Okay, well, hey, Jim, how do I turn it on again? <laughs> okay, um, you just shot a photo yourself. Oh, it goes that way. Okay, let me turn around. How do I hit a race? It's like, Jesus Christ. You know what you should do is, because when you print out a camera phone photo, it's going to look like crap anyway. Mm. You should just have color Xeroxes. Of what a camera phone photo of you would look like, and just have stacks of them, and you'd be like, "Here, here's a crappy photo of me. Save the time. Let's just save both our time. You don't even have to come. Maybe get on a mailing list. Stay home. I'll mail you a photo. I don't have to do the demo." Yeah, there's those people who take pictures without themselves in it. They just take a picture of you walking by. You can get that anywhere. Yeah, just go on the internet and yeah. just print up somebody else's and claim it as your own. I just came up with the. Uh, the Facebook angle for skate fo- for skate filming though no one's done that yet so you know like everybody's just taking pictures of themselves like on Facebook which I can't figure it out you shoot from a, up top to make no chin or down low up, up top to up make top no. is no chin my yeah. all right see that's my problem MySpace Facebook all of them see, so, my, my buddy Cleveland somebody said if you shoot from above and you suck your cheeks in you'll look way less fat so he does it so bad and he, he's like pretty chubby dude and he rocks eye makeup because he's like the singer of a rock band so (laughs) when he shoots the photo he's like this with eye makeup on i'm like dude you look like a transvestite (laughs) you look like a transvestite goldfish dude i'm like i switched his name to tranny goldfish on my phone because the goldfish face has to go 
<laughs> just sucking in the cheeks so hard with eye makeup on, and you're fat. You look like a tranny goldfish. Big time tranny goldfish. <laughs> but I just had uh, Keegan Sauter and Tony Trujillo in Jersey last week, and I was filming them skating doing the, the MySpace camera. So I had the screen out, pointed at myself with the skating behind me. So I was just making sexy faces, but with skateboarding behind me. Has, <laughs> hasn't been done yet. Chris, you run a New Jersey skate Yep, NJ Skate Shop in New Jersey. We've got four of them. You do? big time now, Yeah, huh? we're, I don't know what's wrong with us. What, what, what towns? Uh, that's in Slayerville, home of Bon Jovi. Slayerville. And there's one in Hoboken, home of Frank Sinatra. There's one in Princeton and one in New Brunswick. Nice. Yeah, so we get around. You don't skate yourself, though, do you? I do skate myself. I built ledges in my driveway. That's a, as much as I could afford. I'm not BAM, so I don't have... A training You facility. don't have a full skate park. No, I've got a ledge. I could afford a ledge. The worst is building all kinds of shit, and over time, it just slowly is deteriorate. Like, I just looked at the skate oh, ramp yeah. down there for the first time in, in a while. The fucking treetop casino is completely slanted this way because half the trees are, like, dry rotted. It looks like if you stood in it, you'd fall right through yeah, it or a- make the whole thing collapse. Not to mention all the flat bottom on the ramps are just bubbled up. It's and it's like zone. I spent, yeah, 200 grand on that just really? to have fun on it for two <laughs> years. And now, like, two years is up, and now I feel like I have to tear the fucker down. It looks like shit. It looks terrible. Yeah, it's dangerous, it's man. Bad. You can even put an off limit sign up there, man. And the indoor skate park is, everything's fine in there, but I've been skating it so long that I'm just bored of the same obstacles. Bam lets all the local skaters just come and skate in his building, and you don't even know who's in there half the time, right? Do they have the Pasco? Well, that's the problem. I'll give, suppose I give it to you, then. You'll show up with five friends, which is fine, but then your five friends will figure out the code, and then they'll show up with five friends. So by the time a month goes by, it's like the dude who you brought brought his friend, and now it's his friend's buddies. How skating. often you got to change that code? Yeah, I'm like once a month. Wow. Yeah. I tweeted it earlier today. Was that wrong? <laughs> He's tweeted it himself. Really? Oh, I've yeah. tweeted my mom's phone number on Mother's <laughs> I was like, everybody, I was like, but don't call her. Text. You could respect that. And then Ape got so many texts and phone calls that her, her phone actually froze. Wow. It, it was like 300,000 people trying to call all at once. Oh, <laughs> She's like, shit. and she never cussed. And She's like, bam, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you gave out my goddamn phone number. It's ringing off the hook. My phone actually froze. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like I give a fuck? Oh, holy Lord, I got a phone. Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Band. Turn it up. Faction. <laughs> now, Rocco, you, people know you um, from Jackass. Do you still get recognized? No, they don't, hey, they don't know me from Jackass. You don't want don't to say that. Nobody, you don't want no. anybody to know that? No, hey, that, that's Even not, the listeners? Not true. It's not true. Well, Big Brother I, at first, I puked, right? I puked. Twice on Jackass. The that TV show. It. Yeah. That With was the milk, it. right? With the milk and then the eggs. Well, what I'm asking is, do people recognize you from No, that? no, because I'm way fatter. I'm like... No, you look like exactly bam. the same, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was fat then. It's true. I think I was fatter then because all the pills had me so constipated. Right. I was a mess. What were you on? What wasn't I on? It was just a Molotov cocktail. What he was, was, he was on a lot of pills. Me and Chris took a vacation to Catalina Island, and... Um, we ended. Somebody gave us a golf cart because they don't drive cars there. You just drive around in golf carts. Somebody was like, "Oh, here, you guys can borrow our golf cart." Have they fun. gave him a golf cart because he's a celebrity. <laughs> I just, they I did. took it. That was cool. Yeah. And then you, you took it and ended up. We get pulled over. You, you kick the windows in of the golf cart. And uh, is that due to pills? I, oh yeah, I was blacked out. They, I was like on all these Kalana do, pins, do, so they were calling me. Feel like they were calling Chris. me Kalana Chris. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like, you know? Because some people, like if you're a, a writer, if you drink red wine, you feel more creative. Did you feel more creative on pills? No, I didn't. I was just blacked out for like five years. I don't remember anything. The only good thing about it was that I was smart enough when I would come to I, or find myself at my desk at the Big Brother building, I would just write what I remember just happened. Yeah. And that's how the book came about. It was just a collection Skinema. of. Skinema. Skinema is just a collection of terrible stories. Of like you know being with women and just just doing drugs and just being a shitbag, but I don't remember like when I had to edit the book and I was on my honeymoon going through. I was like, God, this guy sucks. <laughs> were you, were you blacked out worst. from pills or pills and booze? 
Both, both. It was because like, the booze, if you take Xanax or Klonopin, and it intensifies it if you sip on it. If you have, like, a beer on Klonopin, then... Yeah, it says yeah. it on the bottle. Yeah. yeah. It was it was bad, man. I got hit by a car crossing South Street with Kerry Getz in 2000. And I go, and like, it crushed this ball joint in my shoulder. I went back, and I happened to get this doctor who was the guy that was given all the pills to the cast of Friends. Mm. This is in 2000. <laughs> And so he thought my shoulder injury yeah. was, like, a way to get pills. Meanwhile, my fucking shoulder is down, like, and my stomach's hanging down here. I was like, no, it's it's really fucked up. I'm telling you, it's fucked up. He's like, sure it is, bud. And he's prescribing <laughs> me 100. Yeah, sure it's like, no, it's, like, dude, really 100, 1,000 milligram Vicodins a week. A week. Horse pills. Yeah. So I went from taking, like, two and feeling fine to taking 10 a day and feeling fine to taking 30 and not feeling anything. Like, honestly, 30 in a day? Yeah, and so I was gnarly. constipated, just yeah. couldn't shit for two months, and so I started trading them for other shit, and then I just started snorting them, and it just it just went to shit from there. How long have you been off pills? Uh, it was not too long after I finally, after I met my wife, so it's got to be 2005. I don't, I'm not one of those day counters, you know, but right. uh, it's, you know. Everything just get right, real be better after that? Yeah, everything was kosher. I mean, I'm still boozing, but not to the extent that I was before, but it was pills. I was... One time I was I had weekend at Bernie's. We were on a, uh, I don't know what team it was. I can't even know what team it was. I went to Europe for a bunch of skate contests. L. A. to France to Paris to uh, Copenhagen. I got there in five minutes flat. I we got we got on the plane in L. A. I took like five bars of Xanax, snorted them all, barely got back to my seat, woke up in my bed at our hotel in Copenhagen. So like, you got there in five minutes. Five minute flight, dude. Time machine. <laughs> yeah. Like they say, it hasn't been discovered. I discover our time machine. <laughs> I shit you not, dude. The guys, the skaters that were on a trip, had to pull the corpse off the plane in Paris, seat me, two hour layover, pick me up. I don't know how they got me on the next flight. Like who would check a guy in? This is pre nine eleven. But this, there's like a this we, guy's done it after nine yeah. eleven. Well, really? I, I discovered uh, <laughs> nice. how to not take downers and booze at the same time because I was on a flight from London to Newark, New Jersey, um, and it was a Virgin Airlines, and I was first class. And on Virgin, there's an actual sit down bar like this, and I'm like, what? There's a sit-down bar on the flight. I could fly to London every fucking day. This is awesome. So I'm like, red wine, keep them coming, you know? Then this uh, Iranian chick who is like 20 or something, she sits down next to me. We start chit-chatting, and then I see her pop this pill. I was like, what was that? She's like, oh, it's just a sleeping pill, no big deal. I'm like, give me one. So she gives me one. Well, whatever the fuck it was was strong, and the red wine intensified it major to the point where I wound up in her bunk, fingering her, making out with her, and her, <laughs> her mom was right next to, like, it oh, was because it was a bed. Yeah. So she, I wake up to her mom, like, who the fuck are you, and what are you doing to my daughter? I'm like, I don't know. Was the mom hot? I don't remember. But all that I know is that I'm with the, his, her daughter in the fucking bed. So now I wake up, and my shirt's all unbuttoned, and I go to the bathroom, lock the door, fall asleep in the bathroom to the point where the stewardess had to fucking jimmy the door open to get me out because I was locked in there for three hours, incoherent. Fuck. They're pounding on the door, and I'm just in there snoring. So when, when I got out, my shirt's all unbuttoned, and they take me to my bed, and they were just like... I will never be a stewardess as long as you're on a flight. Basically saying I'm kicked off of Virgin yeah. Airlines. And then when when I woke up, I was like super apologetic. But at the time, I was so out of it. Yeah. No, it's just total blackout. Mode. Yeah. It was serious blackout. Like, I vaguely remember it. Like, I almost killed a buddy of mine. I had to interview some crappy band in New York City. They flew me out. I would I would always scam these trips from record labels to just come back home and hang out <laughs> with my buddies. I'd be in L.A. and we're like, oh, let me see if I can get a flight for the weekend. And I I call a label. I was like, yeah, I'll interview your band. Just fly me back. Oh, it's those like, were the days. Yeah, it's like you know, like, <laughs> that don't happen. No, no I get on the phone. I interview you on the phone. But yeah. so they fl flew me back. I went in New York City. And they're like, the band's not here. They're in upstate New York. I was like, what oh, band? Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter. You really, you could say it. Dude. I don't know it. That's the thing. Oh, people yeah. always ask me like specifics. Like you've done a lot of good interviews with a lot of lot of people. Yeah, I don't remember this one. I don't even remember. It was like they had like skateboarding in the song title or something. <laughs> so it was really bad. I wonder if nine eleven <laughs> is the reason why everything has changed so much. Because back then, before that, like 
there would be so many offers like do you want to go to london for two days to do this and then we'll pay you 10 grand and now it's just like everything is just like well you could just do it over the you internet you know my now. kid was born on 9 11 right oh, I'm trying to change, really yeah i'm trying to change the whole theme like it make it not so negative so we always throw these like airplane based birthday parties for them like <laughs> Like, we have a cake with, like, a little stork flying into the Twin Towers. <laughs> you know, we try to just lighten the mood. Because yeah. when he was born, like, he's trying to climb out of my wife. And, you know, on the TV, they're reading the names. It's raining. Everybody's crying. She's like, shut that shit off. Damn. I was like, no, this has got to be a good day. It was 9-11, not 2001, though. It was. No. No, just three years ago. Okay. But 9-11 is 9-11 from yeah. here on out. Yeah. You know, it's, it is what it is. I never so, thought about that. Yeah, so. ruin someone's birthday. So I rented one of those storks, you know, like for the lawn. It's a boy. And then I took two sheets of plywood and painted them like buildings on my front lawn. And my neighbors just lost it. It was terrible. <laughs> it went south. So speaking of Skinema, uh, your book, don't you ha didn't that turn into like a, like a webisode thing? It's turned into a lot of stuff. It's uh. I'm kind of like, bam, with the shopping carts. I'm just beating a dead horse. Like, I just, <laughs> I'm not, hey, if this is working, I'm running with what it. What porn? So, porn interviews? It's it's supposed to be porn reviews, but I never talk about. Review. The I never talk about the movie at all. I just tell, like, some fucked up story. So and then you rate the movie at the end. Yeah, I give it a number, <laughs> you know, because I never used to give it a number until the porn companies were like, all right, if you're not going to talk about our movie, can you at least rate it, give it a number? I was like. That's it? That's what you want? Sure. I was like, what's the scale? What do you like? They're like, 1 through 10 is fine. Yeah. So I think it's been, like, I use the same Word document. I just keep it at 9, so everybody gets a 9. Like, I don't think I've given any other score ever. So they like, still send you free porn? Yeah, it's just that? tons of it. Tons of it. Do you, ever, do you even watch it anymore? Sometimes, yeah. You know, they, there's some new moves. You wouldn't believe it. You yeah. think that they had it all figured out, but <laughs> just recently I got one where the, it was a lesbian scene, and they were blowing... Uh, smoking a blunt. I didn't even know anybody still smokes blunts. And they were Damn. blowing the smoke. Bam's new roommate does. Really? Constantly. <laughs> it's 1994 all over again. What's old is new. <laughs> so what were they They were blowing them? smoke, uh, weed smoke, up each other's ass and pussies. <laughs> I was and, then, like, and then sucking it back yeah. out. Yeah. I was like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. That's, That's not a good sexy. maneuver. Who cares? It's new. It's smoke. New. It's definitely smoke new. Smoking pussies. Yeah. Back to radio, bam, thing, faction. <laughs> Dude, I good. think that somehow, some way, everything has been done. Like, like if you can think of the sickest thing, like, has somebody stuck a tube up their ass into somebody else's ass and shit their shit into their ass? When, I they, bet, when they had diarrhea. You bet some For fucking sure. Germany has Have done you it. Seen yeah. It? Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I just, <laughs> when in well, doubt, just assume Germany did it. What is, what, what <laughs> is the what is something that you've seen that you couldn't watch and you definitely had to turn off? I, I, there's nothing that I had to turn off, but I, there's this one video. I some have, dude shit in some girl's mouth, and she was loving it. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, that's, I'm not big on that. But I got this video called Girls Who Puke, and I've had it for 15 years. It's on VHS. I don't even know if I can watch it. But I always kept it around as, like, a conversation piece. And the cover is, like, this really skinny girl with shitty tits. So when she's convulsing the puke, her tits, like, kind of get sucked in. So that, like, they look crazy. So when she's like, <laughs> yeah, it's just the tense and emaciated. It's just a bad look, and it's shot from above, so you really just see like her, her udders, and uh, it's and and so like yeah, she pukes on this garbage bag, and she's lapping it up afterwards and rubbing her parts all in it. Yeah, that's making me sick. Man. Yeah, it's it's rough. But anyway, to answer your question, um, this book turned into or the reviews i had a column called skin i turned into this book and now vice has got like a weekly behind the scenes porn show where i just hang out with my porno friends and uh just watch them you know get fucked in the ass and do try you, and do you find that they're like after you interview one porn actress like what do you say the other isn't it pretty much the same they're they all have fantastic stories, man. They, right. It's just so absurd. Like, there's this one girl that I'm trying to interview soon, and she was, like, an Olympic figure skating hopeful, and now she puts wieners in her butt. Like, she was so <laughs> close to be the representing our country on ice, and now she represents it in her ass. She's going to be primetime Olympic, <laughs> Olympic, Olympic ice skater. <laughs> Olympic <laughs> ice skater. She's Olympic champion. Now she turned into Olympic cha Olympic champion. Yeah, there's just some fantastic ones. Like I, uh, this week, la last Friday we started Joanna Angel. She does uh, BurningAngel.com. Yeah, she like, interviewed CKY in like 2001. Damn. Before she, I, that was I don't was know. She when even she, 18. 
she's yeah i mean she, yeah she was like a little groupie girl were you 18 <laughs> i'm well over yeah <laughs> I was like 30. God damn. You <laughs> motherfuckers are old. <laughs> <laughs> One time we were doing a press junket for Jackass 2 or 3 in Germany, and I remember this German reporter came up to Tremaine. He's just like, so I saw the movie, and I just wanted to know, like, what's your guys' fascination with shit? And Tremaine just looks at him with this long pause. He's like, last time I checked, any weird porno involving shit is always people from Germany. So what's your fascination with shit? <laughs> what did the guy say? He didn't know what to say. He's like, oh... <laughs> Anytime there's ever a shit he was porno, deflecting. that is true. <laughs> it's always other, the Germans. Like, yeah, crazy like leather body outfits with shit involved or something weird. It's always German porn. But it's because they're just like they're so repressed. I went over there shit last. To my move. We, I went over there last <laughs> April on Hitler's birthday, and oh, wow. I had a Hitler mustache. I flew in. You like, love doing that. Oh, it's the best. I usually yeah. <laughs> I, I usually do that a couple times a year. But I had like you know like a real crappy mustache. Like my mustache comes in like four different colors like blonde and brown and red every color you can get come up with so i had like a big like you know a caterpillar mustache on the flight and then once we're about to land we're an hour out i go to the bathroom and i just shave it into homeboy's mustache <laughs> how and, many uh, people get offended it, it went south right off the bat people just get what the fuck it was just his bombing. christmas cards don't you put your whole family in hitler mustache no it was just one year <laughs> I, I was hitler on vacation for that okay. uh, yeah that was that's the thing uh is this a pubic hair you just got strategically put in my microphone? <laughs> joke? These crazy jackass it's, it's guys. Probably Novak. <laughs> That's Novak's mic. I I would stay far away from the t the tip. Yeah, but they uh yeah they're rough man. They uh they don't go for those jokes. They don't even talk about it. You're not allowed to bring it up. So I land on 420 and I'm busting their balls. I'm walking around asking people where the birthday parade is. And they're just Hitler like, was born on 420. He was born on 420. Oh. That's why my kid is gonna take over the world, man. Like 9/11. What? Well, my wife tells me she's pregnant on Christmas. Hitler's birthday, we find out it's a boy. 9/11, he's born. Like he's destined for like to be like the evil dictator or something. Like how the fuck can somebody actually talk a whole bunch of people into like? You know what? We don't need Jews around here, so let's, like, kill them all. What do you say, guys? Okay. Right, guys? Right, guys? Let's like, do it. I say that, we hang them, then we kill them. In this day and age, that would never fucking happen. I don't know. There's a lot of dumb people. There's a lot of dumb people that uh, will go along with a lot of bullshit. It's just crazy that, like, George W. Bush how got elected talk, twice. How could he brainwash twice. everybody? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's a lot of stupid people in the world, man. You can convince them. Like, I would tell people that... We have to kill all the rich. So you're dead, man. Yeah. I don't know, Chad. You might. Maybe a couple years ago, you would have been dead. But a couple years ago. We're in a recession. That's an easy con, right? We have to kill all the rich people, and then we'll be rich. But yeah. then we have to kill ourselves. So ev eventually, everyone just dies. At the end of the movie, everybody dies. But that, it's easy. You just you have to target something that everybody will buy into. and that was I haven't like, even been paying attention, but is Obama doing a good job? Sure. He is? Sure. They're all doing a good job until you start paying attention. It seems like whatever anybody that, says, nothing ever gets yeah, done. They're not worried about the you. The Mitt, Mitt Romney guy, I mean, he strapped his dog to the roof of his car and let it shit all over his car when he went on vacation. He didn't want to put the dog in the like car. Like a national lampoons? You didn't hear about that? No. no. Mitt Romney. Who's guy, that? Who is it? He He's, could be your next president. He could be your next president. Well, he looks like a robot. He went on vacation, they found out, and he put his dog, his family pet dog, on the roof, and the dog just shit the whole va ride wherever he was going the, to the mountains or something. How did he they drove, find that out? What, like strapped him to the roof? It, uh, it's public knowledge. I don't know, but it's been found out and it's been talked about. Letterman talks about it like every day. Wow, that's great. Yeah, strapped the dog to a thing in the roof going like 70 miles down the highway. I got to try that with my dog. Shit all over? My the dog shits Would everywhere. Would you do that? Would you would you vote that guy as your president, just purely based on that? No. But did he love his dog? Right. Uh, I don't know. That just <laughs> seems no, weird. He just thought of wrong. it as a dog. Like whatever, it's a dog. No, uh, that guy is out of touch with anything that could be useful in my life. Like he's born rich. He's never had right. to work a day in his life. I don't think his wife ever had to pick up their babies. Like they had people with like mechanical arms that picked up babies for them. You know, they're they're not humans. <laughs> you know, they're they're mutants. I well you had to drown a groundhog the other day. Shit happens. <laughs>
Don't eat my vegetables. He, he saw a cage outside. He's like, what have you been trying to trap? Like, there's been a fucking raccoon living under my porch, and I finally caught him yesterday. He's like, well, what would you do with him? I was like, I didn't know what to do with him. I just dropped him off down at the Brandywine River. Last... You caught that raccoon? Yeah. So he's like, I had a groundhog. I was like, what would you do with him? He drowned him. <laughs> Have he to just do it. put the cage in a, a trash can filled with water. I don't, I don't, I don't remember that happening. <laughs> That's legal, I think, right? It's just, I think it is. It isn't. It maybe it isn't in Jersey. It's got to be legal. We're going hot right now. Oh, oh, stop! Run for your life. Look what we found in Don Vito's ass. Howdy ho! This is Radio Bam, baby. Faction. So Skinema is this <laughs> new show. <laughs> <laughs> and this Friday, we make chocolate chip cookies in the nude with Joanna Angel. And oh, she really? talks about how she can fit just about anything up her butt and not feel it. Like, she tells me this story about how this guy who's, like, one of the biggest... Well, she definitely doesn't feel what's coming out of it, either. No. So is she wearing a diaper? No, that's what she said. She's eventually <laughs> going to have problems. You know, she told me she's yeah. eventually going to have problems. But she said that this guy who's known as, like, the biggest horse cock in She probably porn, got a leaky ass. Yeah, yeah she drips, maybe. <laughs> But she, uh, <laughs> the guy was like, I love working with you because you're not like the other girls. It just goes in your ass so easy. I don't even have to try. And she's like, are you saying I'm a loose asshole? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a... No, this is good. This is good. <laughs> you're saying I have a leaky ass. <laughs> you're saying I have a big, fat, leaky ass. <laughs> uh, so is there anything new in porn? I mean, is there anything that, to find out that the, we, the we don't know? The big thing right now is just porn spoof. They're just spoofing everything. Like Batman's just in theaters now. They've already got a Batman spoof. The What's Avengers. That called? It's Batman Triple X. It's okay. it, they don't even change the title. Seinfeld Triple X. I was really? never Cosby in, Show Triple X. I was I never into funny plots or anything. I don't. I would always just fast forward it. Like if I'm gonna watch a porn, it's strictly to jerk off and then get on with my day. I don't want to totally see but, the plot. But. Don't you want to watch all three of the Brady Bunch daughters have a lesbian scene together and blow their dad? <laughs> like that's a fan- that's definitely a fantasy everyone has, right? So now you can. I, just I watched buy your Brady Bunch Triple X. I watched your interview with Joanna Angel, and she said that she likes making pornos with a story, right? Yeah. And that's like a popular thing now. Or is she the only one doing that? Some people are still doing it. Most of it is Gonzo, where it's just straight sex. She, you know. She says she likes to make pornos with uh, with stories, but I pitch her all these great <laughs> stories, and she just never bites on them. Like, I have this great one just because it's a catchy title. It's called Pussy on Rotisserie, and it's a barbecue-themed porno. You yeah. know? And then so I just – I don't think it's been done yet, but you have a girl, like, on a spigot, and you just have, like, one dick in her butt and then one in her mouth, and it's like a human spigot. What's and a spigot? You, you oh, know, like a pig roast? Around. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you rotate the chick. Like, yeah. you're, you're standing there, and you're... So it's you know, D-style, and then it's missionary, and then it's... Yeah, you're just rotating it. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't just spin around on your dick. It's Yeah, your dicks are in the mouth and the butt. Okay. And then she's got to be strapped <laughs> to some kind of apparatus that helps her, like, rotate around. I don't know. We need scientists to get to build something. Scientists. That's pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah. Scientific porn, yeah. Oh, uh, faction, baby. <laughs> I guess. And now back to Radio Bam. Wow. 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 Well, anything as far as porn goes that anyone doesn't know that we can find out for, through your interviews? Well, uh, you'll learn that um, one of the greatest of all times, Belladonna, is not going to perform We toured scenes. with her. I went to Finland with her. Really? Me and her hosted a, it, it was called Sex Fest. <laughs> Did you have sex with her? No, but, but me and her hosted this big event, and Joe Franz wouldn't tell me why we were going there. I'm like, so somebody's paying for me and five of my friends to go to Finland. It's, I'm definitely doing something, so what is it? Yeah. You'll find out when you get there. Because he knew I'd probably say no if I'm hosting Sex Fest. And Why would you say no? I don't know. Well, I knew that Ryan Dunn was, would be completely fed up, which he was. <laughs> He's like, we do fucking Jackass and Viva La Bam. And now, oh, we really mi- raised our morale here. Now we're hosting fucking Sex Fest in Finland. Oh, great job, Franz. The guy who standards? The guy who cleaned when did that? The guy who was hired to clean the pole at Sex Fest. Uh, just followed Dunn around, jerking off on him the whole trip. Nice. Like every day he'd be <laughs> turn around. There's a, there's a guy who was mopping. Did it you up. pay him to do that? No, his his job. He he was supposed to go out and perform a show, 
Phillips, but he was really in it. He was like a big Ryan Dunn fan, yeah. so he's jerking off trying to get ready for him to go out. So it's like nice and big when he gets out, but he's just following Dunn around. Like, so like, when did you get to Finland? Yeah. Like jerking, so he's jerking off, and the Dunn's time. like, dude, I can't talk to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, man, it's really nice to meet you. I'm not shaking your hand. Oh, my God, it's great. <laughs> You're he jerking hit, off he with it. pretty much that whole trip. Yeah. Uh, that was funny. So what happened? Did you get, I mean, did you get laid? Well, I had, uh, <laughs> no, I, no. You didn't get laid at Sex Fest? No. No, he d just came out and said, hey, I'm Bam Margera. You're welcome to Sex Fest, right? Pretty much. Or, and then, you introduced and, Belladonna. And then, yeah, and then Belladonna did like a uh, pole dance type thing. And then yeah, she, she's good. She's talented. sucked this dildo, <clears throat> which looked real good. Yeah. She's. What were you going to say? <laughs> which looked real good. <laughs> I, I was out Dude. in L.A. in January, and her and I went to this hotel with this guy with this massive cock, and, you know, she got effed in the A, and uh, it turns out that that's going to be her last on-screen performance. She's, uh, she's <laughs> done. Did she say why? She's just, uh, she wants to be an acrobat, I think, is her next. She's amazing. She, she like, was. Does she was these, like, that, crazy, remember? like, silk show, and, like, it's pretty awesome. So Maybe I mean, she could go to Vegas and... She'll still have, like, Belladonna, the Enterprises. You know, yeah. her husband runs all that. Aiden, and he's great. That's but, so uh, weird that it's so he's, like, because I met her husband, yeah. and it's just like, yeah, so, like, she's going to fuck this dude, and I'm going to film it. It's like... And you're just cool with that? I'm stoked so, on it. Yeah, like he's stoked on it. So wait, you bang her out, and then she'll suck your dick, and I'll sit here and film it. Like, isn't this? You guys are married. This is strange, isn't it? But like, weren't you stoked when Danny Ray, when Danny Way came and ripped your ramp? Yeah, like, that's awesome, right? <laughs> you're just like, you you're like, dude, this fucking Danny Way. He's super good. He's skating my ramp. So that's kind of how he looks. At it. He's like, yeah, like his wife look at his ramp. Yeah, it's like look at this man Dingo, <laughs> just. Like defiling my wife. Does his wife or her? Yeah. Does her wife? What? Does Does Beldana? Does her husband have a big dick? I don't know. I didn't see it. I never <laughs> saw it. Same with Travis and Gina Lynn. Like they're married, and Travis will film were. her get it. Yeah, were. Dope. You figure if you're gonna have a relationship like that, it's gonna have to come to an end with some big fat argument at one point. Because there has to be jealousy involved. You know, like. What like, I, I've actually heard him on the phone. You know, it'll be like, so you're in L.A., like, oh, uh, so what'd you do? Oh, I had a threesome last night. Did you film it? Like, yeah, I filmed it. All right, good. Yeah, it, if, it, if she doesn't film it's it. It's not then, cheating. Yeah. But if, if she, she if she, Yeah, if she doesn't film it, then she enjoyed it, and there was no money to be made, and it's not a job. Yeah. She did it then for strictly cheating. pleasure. That's, that's cheating. cheating. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a funny line. <laughs> like, all right, you filmed it for everybody to watch? All right, that's, that's, that's not cheating. That's, that's totally fine. kosher. That's, that's totally that's fine. kosher. <laughs> what happened over here? Like, I saw that you had a porno in your TF, and then yeah. I never I never heard anything about it. What it's happened? pretty hard to watch because Novak's it? in it with his little mini hard dick. In, oh, he was in it? He's in, in it? it. Yeah. Oh well, my. Travis asked no, me. No, I wasn't. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> That's a lie. Hey, do you mind if I uh, film a porno on your property? I'm like, dude, you can do whatever you want. So I basically introed it saying, like, welcome to my house. So they had a paintball war, and then Novak was getting his dick sucked on the mini ramp, and, and there's, like, paintballs flying everywhere. He's like, oh, yeah, there's a war going on, and I don't feel like getting shots to suck that dick. You know, just <laughs> Wasn't it a stunt dick? Well, well, he couldn't finish because he was on so many pills. So, so Travis just comes in and then <laughs> comes on the girl's face. <laughs> but <laughs> it doesn't even look the same. You could tell that, like, how come all of a sudden Novak's hard on is three times bigger than <laughs> it was when he was getting it sucked. <laughs> What's the Bam porno called? Uh, it's called um, Bam Goes Gina or, or Gina Goes Bam or something. Really? That's... And it, and it kind of looks like I'm like. In, in it. it, yeah. But all I'm doing is just introing it. Did you get paid for that? No. Huh. It's yeah. not like anybody bought it. <laughs> Did you get a blowjob? No, it's like hard to watch. Dude, the whole porno is just really hard to even watch. Is there any good skating? No. <laughs> it's Novak trying to do a 900 on the Indian wall, and he probably did a 270 trying. He's in another scene where he falls skating, and then... She sucks him better, or the yeah. nurses come in. He tries a 900, slams super hard, and then two nurses come in on the dune buggy and then just start blowing him. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we need to nurse him back to health, <laughs> that's his way. That's that's the nurse's way of fixing him. <laughs> that's how they do it. They just show up and fix things. <laughs> when you do these porn interviews, Chris, now that you're a married guy with kids, uh -huh. does your wife uh, get jealous at all? No, she's these? great. She's a champ. I mean. 
you know, I just told you about what a mess I was. If it wasn't for her and that, you know, pulling me out of that mess, I wasn't Catalina, I'd be dead. Yeah, she was there back then. Yeah, she was there. So, what was the reason? What, like, did something drastic happen for you to want to stop, or was it just like enough is enough? It, it was really her that made me want to stop because I was going to tell you before, like, I, I almost killed a buddy of mine when I had to go interview that band in killed? upstate New York. Almost killed. Like, I was following a friend up there. Uh, through these country roads, like where you live, no lights and shit, yeah. crazy turns, and the f and the road went to the right, and I was blacked out, and I just went straight, and I went up this embankment, and basically there was like a divot, basically did like a Chinese ollie, yeah. folded a guardrail down, and there was a road underneath, and I just launched Dukes of Hazard style in this rental car, came down, pushed the whole engine block into the cab, and the only thing that saved my life was that I had no seatbelt on. It was leather seats. And I just somehow, like, sl like slammed forward and then slid to the back. It, like, launched me to the back. But my buddy had a seatbelt on. He, he, like, the airbags came and just crushed on his chest. He could, he could barely breathe. He wasn't conscious. I was freaking the fuck out. And uh, I get out of the car. I don't, I don't, it's just blackness. I don't see anything. Is, was the car demolished? The, this, the, the wheels are folded underneath. The engine block's pushed in. And I was like, I got to get this car to the side of the road. <laughs> so I wrapped my arms around the steering column. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to pull this to the side of the road. This is how fucked up I am. And I just, I braced my legs and I just went, yanked once. And on the second one, I'm not going to say I moved the fucking car, but I felt like I moved the fucking car. Right. And I just yanked the steering wheel and the column right out. Red lights behind me. They're like, don't you fucking move. Don't move. Don't run. And I turn around. And I've got a steering wheel. Wait, the cops? The cops showed up. <laughs> I got a steering wheel and a steering you, column <laughs> in my arms. And I was like, where am I going to go? I don't even know where and the fuck <clears> I am. guns were drawn? Yeah, blood. Just, I'm covered in blood. You could see my skull. Like, it was it was a wreck, dude. And then, like, I had to go to court. They arrested me. I had, like, immediately in front of a judge. And they were trying to get me on um, attempted manslaughter because... There was a gas station right there who witnessed, the guy witnessed the whole thing. And when I launched off that guardrail, it turns out that on that road that I launched on there, there was a car passing. And I jumped that car. Yeah. The guy never knew I was above him. If he stopped, I would have crushed his car, yeah. but he kept going. And they say that if I would have landed on that car, I would have killed him. Yeah. And so that's what they were trying to get me on. So you stopped doing anything after that? I didn't learn a damn thing. Oh, I didn't learn a damn thing. Was the point of that story? I just kept going, full what, board, what do you, and then I met her. What do you her. get if if you're not drunk at all? You're just completely pilled up. Like what? What well, fine do you get? Just under the influence? Well, that's the thing. Like, like it wasn't still. A, I mean, this yeah. is 2001, maybe. Uh, like DUI. You know, I just got a DUI because they weren't they. You know, back then pills weren't. Out Did of you actually yet. have a DUI? That were yeah, you drunk? I was drunk. I was drunk, blacked yeah. out. I was just. But like, pills weren't out of control like they are now. So, like, they didn't even think. To they just thought I was super wasted. And I, like, broke the breathalyzer. You know, like, I made it cry. Like, I was just I was so <laughs> drunk, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, it's like I didn't learn a goddamn thing. You need, I think you need somebody to hold your hand and get you through it. And that yeah. was my wife. You know, like, if she didn't come along, then I'd just, you know, be fucking strippers and hookers and, and be dead by now. You know, I just interviewed Anthony Van England the other day, and he was in the same position. You know, he's just an absolute mess. How, did like, he, how does he skate all hopped up on Well, he, you know, he's been sober for a long time. You uh -huh. know, but uh, at, at the worst, he wasn't skating. Like, after the DC video, he just wasn't skating. For how long? He said, like, good two years. Really? Yeah. Smoke, I didn't even know. Smoking notice. rocks. Yeah, you didn't notice because you didn't see him. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but, huh. yeah, man, he was. <clears throat> it was bad. But now he's clean and sober and just killing it, you know? So yeah. uh, you just need... You just need you know something. I don't know if it's in a crush. Didn't we see uh, Tom Penny uh, yeah, Copenhagen? He was, he was pretty, pretty bonkers. He was probably just smoking weed. But he doesn't skate anymore now, does he? No, he's no. still killing it. He, really. he was, I just saw footage. Well, yeah. people said that he would show up to this uh, this bowl in Copenhagen. Oh yeah, Christiania. Yeah, and one day he would kill it. And then the next day he'd show up like a fucking space cadet and barely be able to drop in, yeah. just like skate like skating around the top deck, just wondering even where the fuck he was, just like, whoa, oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So Chris, if people want to see your Skinema videos, um, it's on Fridays on Vice.com. You got to dig for it because it's naughty, and so they don't put it on the front page. So there's like a not suitable for work tab on there, and it's in there. Um, 
yeah, there's that stuff. I do all kinds Are you of doing stuff. print interviews still? I do a bunch of that. You know, I do stuff for Skateboarder, the Skateboard Mag, just a ton of stuff. Not just, bands anymore, though. Not so much bands, no. Mostly just, I keep it with skateboarding, for the most part. Skateboarding porn. Yeah, there's no bands to interview. No. Skateboarding-wise, I was just thinking... Are small wheels and, like, skinny boards still popular? That hasn't no. changed. No, it's the exact opposite now. Like, you can't find a board under 8 inches. Everybody's skating wide boards. And wheels are kind of small. 53 is, like, pretty standard, but it's not below That's 50. Right. You know, it's like... There's no 90A rap bones or anything anymore. I mean, you know, the longboard thing is out of control right now, so there's a lot of those... It is. Yeah, there's Dude, like, Fairman says that they sell more longboards than regular boards. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. There's a really great website. I think it's just called, like, wrongboarding.com, uh -huh. and it's just this kid, a buddy of mine, Bart, that goes around the city in Manhattan and just shoots like kooks on longboards, and they're the best photos. I think ball, gra the ball grabbing a four foot long board, your arm is like up here. It's just retarded. There's just so many like college kids around here that just want a longboard to go from class to class. Yeah, I guess. They're, yeah. they're big. Sector nine, I remember. Yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah. The one. Sector nine is probably the biggest. Really? Yeah. Wow. So yeah, my shit's. I don't know. That's that's it. That's my that's my pitch. Watch yeah. watch Skinema if you like. Girls and the book girls. is great. The How's book is, the book doing? I don't know. That's a good question. I wrote it five years. I, I don't remember it. I didn't remember writing it the first time, so I don't even remember how it's doing. Have you ever read Novak's book? No. It's hard for me to read books like that. It was hard for me to read. Oh, my Novak own. hasn't read it either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has he written it? <laughs> Him and Franz. Yeah. 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 I. I just. I don't. I don't like thinking about those times. Any bands that you're into lately? Um. Just the same ones as always. Ghostface Killer, Elvis, <laughs> um, Johnny Cash. Yeah, there's nothing new. Yeah. All my favorite guys are dead. Let's play a sound. Track three. This is uh, 69 Eyes, Nothing on You. Radio Bam, Series 28. No, Series 41, Faction. Thank uh, you, Chris Narocco. Yeah, man. Bye, Internet. Internet? This is Sirius XM. What does that mean? It's not on the... Oh, you can listen to it on the internet. I listen to it on the internet. Really? People still listen to... Go I, I just got it on my phone, and oh. I think it's great, but... People still use cars? <laughs> they use cars, and they use this, the Sirius radio in your car to listen to Stern, basically. See, that's what happens when you have kids. You just don't leave the house. You listen on the internet. I listen to Sirius on the internet in my house. Really? Yeah. Just rolling the whole time? Yeah. I just, listen to it on my phone, but my data plan doesn't support it too much. It's like I'm locked in my house. All right. Thank you, Chris. Radio Bam. What is this, 69 Eyes? Is that what he said? 69 Eyes. <laughs> 